Hi, today we're at Sherman Heights, one of our regional mayor monitoring sites located throughout San Diego County. We have about 10 of these locations, uh, some as far north as Camp Pendleton, as far south as the border region, and as far east as Alpine. Uh, today we're at Sherman Heights, uh, located in the city of San Diego. In recent years, California Air Resources Board has funded a new program called the California Air Protection Program, or AB 617. This program focuses on monitoring air quality in communities that are overburdened by air pollution, which means that they have higher air pollution than other communities within the county. We're here at Sherman Elementary School and we established a community monitoring site here and we have more throughout the Portside neighborhoods. Um, the Portside area was chosen by the California Air Resources Board in addition to the international border community to be environmental justice communities under the Community Air Protection Program. And that means that these communities have unique air quality challenges in addition to other socioeconomic factors that make them ideal candidates for advanced air quality monitoring and further uh, attention in terms of reducing the amount of air pollution in these communities. Monitoring these pollutants is important because of the health effects that they can cause. These health effects can range from uh, causing headaches to worsening asthma condition to heart and lung disease and even cancer. Uh, monitoring the, the monitoring data that we collect from these pollutants can help inform us if we're reaching the health-based standards or not. And if not, then what actions that we need to take in our rules and other incentive programs to help reduce the amount of emissions uh, and pollutants in the, in the air for these neighborhoods. The Monitoring and Technical Services Division is responsible for monitoring uh, various pollutants such as ozone, particulate matter, NO2, which is nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, uh, carbon monoxide, and lead. When we want to monitor air quality, we typically divide our types of instruments into two different categories. So we have instruments that collect samples over the course of a full 24-hour period. And so these continuous measurements can help us analyze the air quality at different times of day, different days of the week, and really drill down into what might be causing the air quality to be poorer at certain times. This is one of our continuous air pollution monitors. An air sample is pulled in through this inlet into an instrument below us in the trailer. That is so this instrument pulls in an air sample through the inlet we saw up on the roof. And when that air sample reaches this machine, it uses a laser to measure particulate matter in that air sample. And it can categorize that pollution by size and by amount. So this instrument collects 24-hour samples for airborne metals. So once the sample is pulled in through the inlet and collected on the filter, the filter is sent to a laboratory where the levels of different types of metals can be analyzed and reported back to the community. These levels are important so that we can assess what different types of strategies we can put into place to reduce the amount of air pollution in the air. Uh, one of the additional ways that we can look at improving air quality measurements uh, in San Diego County is looking at new and emerging uh, technologies such as sensor-based. We're here in the Volatile Organic Compounds Lab at the San Diego County Air Pollution Control District where we measure a variety of chemicals with the machines you see behind me here. However, even though we measure a lot of pollution that's required by the Environmental Protection Agency and the California Air Resources Board, we also want to be sure that we respond to the complaints of residents here in San Diego County. Recently we've received lots of complaints about odors from the Tijuana River Valley. So what we've done is we've procured new equipment that can help us measure some of the pollution that causes these odors. So what I have in front of me here is a solar panel, a sensor assembly, and a wind speed and direction sensor. So the solar panel is really just the power source. And why that's super useful for us here is that we can put these sensors in the areas that may not have readily available electricity, such as the Tijuana River Valley. Once the sensor has power, this sensor can measure chemicals like hydrogen sulfide, which are widely associated with sewage and wastewater. Finally, with our wind speed and direction sensor, we can get a better understanding of what direction the wind is blowing and how that affects the odors that different members of the communities around the Tijuana River Valley are experiencing. So with all this new equipment that we've purchased, we're going to continue measuring air quality and the data that we collect will be used to develop, implement, and evaluate strategies to improve the air quality near the Tijuana River Valley and throughout the county of San Diego. So the goal is to have uh, better air quality in these environmental justice communities. We don't want there to be clean air in some neighborhoods and poor air in other neighborhoods. We want clean air to be a right for everybody in San Diego. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about what we're doing at the Air Pollution Control District to improve the air quality here at Sherman Elementary School and throughout the broader San Diego community. If you want more information, please visit our website. Thanks.